Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here, and I thought I would share really quick the kit that I put together for Chamel's uh, Best of Both Worlds, or at least my interpretation of her Best of Both Worlds kit. And I say interpretation because I had a few of the things that she had in her list of products, but then I added quite a lot to it as well as took mostly the inspiration for what I pulled from these two sticker sheets which I did have just like she has except this one is the original not the one from scrapbook.com for the Bloom Street and then I had the Amy Tan stickers just like Schmel has in hers so I definitely when I veer off it was I used these as my inspiration so basically what I pulled would go with one of these two sticker sheets so just like uh, Schmel's kit, I have the sticker sheets. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is go through and show you the papers. And the first one that I had was the same one as Schmel, which was the Let's Wander. And it's the star paper. I had already used this, so I've cut it up. And so I have these two bits left and then some other pieces in this stack of embellishments. So. Uh, I will definitely be using this probably just like Chamel and be cutting apart the stars. So there is that one. I also pulled in this from Bloom Street. I don't know what number it was, but it's the Chevron multicolor. So I have that. I probably am just going to use it for this side, but it does have the hearts. I have this one from Pink Paisley, which is from the Lucky Us collection and I plan to just use it for the text. I think Chamel had a couple of papers in hers that were text, so this was one that I pulled. So like I said, I'm not really following per se the papers that she pulled. I kind of just took my inspiration from the sticker sheets because I definitely had those, and then if I had some of the pattern papers that she used, then I grabbed those. If not, I sort of pulled um, basically just color-wise what I thought I could put together. And Chamel has a pink fresh paper that has the rainbow. I did not have that one, but I had this leftover piece from my story from Pink Fresh and it was this part of the rainbow that was on this paper, so I thought a rainbow, I will add it. It goes along with her concept of a, having a rainbow and so I pulled this or I could use this if I need some pink. So I have that. And then I also just from my scrap bin pulled in this pattern paper which again mimics or mirrors that me, that rainbow. This is from uh, All Heart I think. Crepe Paper All Heart. I also have just this random piece. I think this was from like Good Vibes or something. Six by six piece of pattern paper. It had the colors so that's the only reason why I pulled it. I just have a neutral wood grain. This is from Glitz. Really old. 2012. Uh, let's see. Yours truly is the paper I believe. And so I just pulled this so I could have some wood grain to mat some photos or something along that line. Now in Chamel's kit she also had a cut apart which was from Pink Fresh. I did not have that so I pulled this cut apart from Bloom Street. It is just a scrap but I figure it gives me some options for cut aparts and definitely works obviously with the Bloom Street stickers. So it also has that pattern, that prism type pattern on the back. So there is that one. This is a very old piece of pattern paper from Citrus Twist. It is called Sparrow. And this I pulled to bring in that blue color. Um, and it also has a text. So this you'll find the blue in the, both the Bloom Street and this uh, Amy Tan collection. And so I definitely thought this would match and so that is the first paper. I don't plan to use the back of this. I plan to use it for the text. I also have this Webster's Pages. It is called Snuggle from Dream in Color. That is the back. I do not have, yeah, 
I do not plan to use the back. I do plan to use the yellow. Shamel had a couple of yellow pattern papers in her um, list of papers for the kit, and so I grabbed this one. I also grabbed this rainbow stripe from Vicki Booten. I do not plan to use this side, but this definitely works for the bright colors, especially in the Amy Tan paper, or stickers. I also have this paper because uh, Shamel had a lot of this blue color in her pattern papers. This is from the Truly Grateful, number five. So this, I'm going for this side, although I could use that side, but I did pull it for this. Again, to mirror Shamel's yellow pattern papers that she had, I pulled this one from Bella Boulevard from the Home Sweet Home collection. It has sort of a tone on tone yellow here and then sort of a cream and yellow on this side. I like this sort of tone on tone better. So this is what I'm going to aim at using. I also have this Vicki Booten from the Let's Wander collection and it is again rainbow stripes. So I thought it definitely worked with the Amy Tan collection. It also has this very rainbow colored pattern on the back and so I could basically use either side. This um, kind of goes to the teal paper that Shamel had on her list. Mine has a white polka dot on it, in it and is more of an ombre but I thought I could definitely make it work and so it has a solid on the back and then this polka dot on the front. So that was from Jen Hatfield DIY Home. So I definitely just went through my pattern papers and just pulled ones that I wanted to use for this kit. So a lot of this is really old. Some you can get, some you can't. This is from Hello Again from uh, Cartabella. And I loved this floral. and. There was a couple of papers, I think, in Chamel's list that had floral. There was ones that had a bit more of a tighter floral. This was sort of the closest that I found in the stack that I papers I was going through. But I thought it definitely worked. It has the right colors. I don't know that I'll use this heart side at all, but I definitely like it for this floral. And this was called Small Floral. Now, just like Shamel had in her collection, I have this heart paper that's called from the Let's Stay Home, and it's called Kind Hearts. So I definitely pulled this because it matched exactly the paper that she had. So I can basically use either side of this. And I know she used this on her first layout. I am not using it, but I do have it for later. Now, again, to play off that rainbow, I pulled this from She's Magic from Dear Lizzie, and it was the Stay Tuned. So again, another rainbow. I have this very bright blue, which I guess I could use. It does have the right colors. I probably won't use it. I am aiming to use this side, but we'll see. I also pulled this one. I want to say that there was a pattern paper in her in her list that was oh it was the one that had the pink fresh one that had all the squares in the different colors I pulled this one kind of to mimic that kind of a pattern where these are all squares mine just goes through a couple of colors this again was from she's magic and it's the dreaming is the name so I pulled this because I thought it kind of mirrors that concept that that one had. These ones are a little bit more watercolored as opposed to the very structured squares that were in Chamel's Pink Fresh paper. I don't plan to use this side. Now this one I pulled because it had the colors and a very gr nice sort of prismy watercolory background that I could use for um, a background of a layout and this is from the For the Love of Summer Good Times from Photo Play. And this is the other side. I actually really like this side as well. 
So I only have one, but I'm probably going to use it for this side because I think this would make a beautiful background. So that's the pattern papers that I pulled. And then I like to sort of mat my layouts on pattern paper. And so I just pulled, I'm not going to go through all of this because this is just solid cardstock. And I just pulled a whole bunch of colors that I could potentially use to back my layouts or my photos, whatever I decide. So I have everything from greens to blues to white to pink. I have some greens and turquoise. So just a mere, just a whole range of colors that I can go ahead and pull if needed. So that is my pattern paper. And off to the side here, I'll grab out my sticker sheets. So off to the side here, I have all of the embellishments that I pulled. And just a sec, some stuff fell on the floor. All right, so I have, again, from that chevron paper, I have just some scraps, so I did throw those in here. I have some sequins from the Secret Not Secret Kit Club, pulls in the blues and some pinks in here. I have just a library card for some journaling. I have the Bloom Street florals, so I pulled those. I have some all heart frames and just some other ephemera pieces from Pink Fresh that are in here, so I thought I'd pull those. I have just some bling, so some little crystals. I have some adhesive dots in sort of a purpley pink color. I have some green, both enamel dots and little rhinestones. Some turquoise, sugar dots, and then some puffy hearts. I have some peach colored enamel and some gold hearts. I have these stickers, just a couple left from the collectible collection from My Mind's Eye. So those are super old. I don't even think it has a year. Oh, yep, 2015. So those are old. There's another piece of that star paper. I have some star enamels. I have just in this bag from a leftover project some little pearls in pinks and blues and purple. I have a few of these puffy words from the Bloom Street collection, so I pulled those. Some different purple enamel dots, some pink enamel dots, some Dear Lizzie pink word stickers. Just a happy, happy, happy die cut. I have the Amy Tan paper bows from Picnic in the Park. I have the Bloom Street Ephemera. I have the Amy Tangerine from Picnic in a Park. These are the embossed puppies. And then I also have in here some heart puffy stickers. I have some puffy stickers from Office Hours. I have the Chamel uh, rub-ons from Glitter Girl. No, not Glitter Girl. This is like from her very first collection. I can't even remember the name of it, but I have those. I have some word stickers from just recollections from Michaels. Some pink fresh uh, word stickers. I have some hip kit washi. I have one frame left in this Dear Lizzie that I would like to get used up. I have that pattern paper in my kit, so hopefully I can get it used. I pulled this sticker book from Kaiser Craft. It's called Paisley Days, and it has just a whole bunch of stickers. Not all the colors go, but I thought I might be able to pull something from here, so we will see. I have some puffy stickers from Amy Tan from one of her collections a long time ago. I have a sort of triangle washi tape in a teal. More of that paper. Some viewfinders. A little tab. And just a word strip. I have some doilies in some teal, some yellow, and some white. 
I have the same scrapbook and cards today magazine that Chamel showed in hers. I also pulled, I am trying to work through some of my alphas or my thickers that are words. And so I pulled these to use for titles. I have another set of them as well. And I'm hoping to get some of these used up. So hopefully I can make some kind of generic titled layouts in this kit to get some of these used up. But these are story from thickers. I also have this set from Happy. And I do have a second set of these, so I am almost out of a lot of the letters for this, and so I will pull the other one in if I need to. I also pulled the Just a Little Lovely from Pink Fresh, and some of the colors will go with this kit. I also have the Joyful Day Puffy Alphas from, or stickers from Pink Fresh, so I pulled that. I don't have much left on that. And then Chamel also had some teal or turquoise letter stickers. And so I pulled a couple. I have L Studio in teal and then the Jelly Bean Alpha Bean in teal. And then I also have these, which were from Alley Scraps. And I believe these were a free download. And I, I printed them on sticker paper. And so I just cut out the letters as I need them. So I through that in there so that's plenty of sort of teal letter stickers for sure. Now I also pulled in just a stencil from a past hip kit. It was the rainbow stencil and so I pulled that and then I will show you the other stamp sets that I pulled to I know Chamel is using one from Catherine Pooler, Pooler that has um, cameras. I didn't have that stamp set, but I have plenty of stamps that have cameras, so I pulled this one. I also have this set, which is very old. I think I got this from like HSN years and years and years ago, but it has some cameras. It also has a viewfinder, which I also really love. I have this one from Close to My Heart. It was the new one that came out with that Beautiful Day collection and it had a camera, so I pulled that. And then I also have this very old set from Close to My Heart. It was called, what was it called? Life in Pictures, and it is a whole bunch of cameras as well. This is really old. I know that it's not available anymore, but those are the stamp sets that I pulled for the kit. Now, that is the kit and then what I did is this is the other pieces that I also pulled in this kit that I'm going to use to actually create um, the layout that Chamel created for her first layout. I'm going to um, do the same layout with my supplies. So I pulled this. She had a pattern paper that had the two by two squares. I pulled this one from Horizon. So I'm going to use some from that. I have these very old Dear Lizzie wooden, sort of wooden buttons, and so I'm going to use some of those. I have some gold enamels, enamel dots, so those are going to go on this page. I have the Bloom Street sticker book, so I'm going to use that. I also have a few die cuts that I actually pulled from the Bloom Street collection. This was from the cut apart sheet, and so I pulled those. I have a doily. I have this sticker sheet from, this was from Bloom Street, and so I'm going to use one of these words. Again, pulling in, trying to get using those word uh, stickers that I have for titles. This was the other set that I pulled, which was the gray set, and it's a very old Amy Tan, so I'm going to use that for part of my title as well. I have this pattern paper from Bloom Street, it was number 13. It's the one that has all the words and then it had that love on the back. I plan to cut some of these apart to use on the layout for some word strips. So I have two pieces of that. I have this just an eight and a half by 11 wood grain piece of pattern paper. So I'm going to actually map my photo with that. And then for the background of my layout, I have this piece of pattern paper from Dear Lizzie, 
Uh, I believe this is again from She's Magic. It's the floral. I'm using the floral side. I have a piece of that chevron paper or yeah, I guess it's kind of chevron or arrow paper. And then I also have, this is the photo that I'll be doing of my daughter. And then I have this pattern paper, which was from Simple Stories Reset Girl. And I had originally pulled it for the yellow side, but I decided to actually go with the green for this layout. And I am going to put that on a piece of white cardstock to have a frame for my layout. So that is what I'm going to use to create the first layout that Shamel created on her Facebook Live with this kit. And I'm also going to use the stickers, possibly, from the two sticker sheets. So that is my kit. Okay, to start this layout, we are going to do some stamping, and I'm taking two colors of ink from the Concord and Nine Ninth Mini Cubes. One is, I think, Sea Glass, and the other one is, I want to say, Peacock, I believe is the colors. And I'm just going to go ahead and stamp the cameras. I'm doing the same thing as Shamel did on her layout in the fact that I'm stamping three cameras that I will use on the page. I will off camera go ahead and fussy cut these all out so that I will have them ready when I'm putting the layout together. But I'm using the lighter green to actually stamp the cameras and then I'm just going to use the darker green on the film strip that was in the other stamp set that I had chosen and I I can't remember if I actually used this film strip. I do stamp out two of them uh, and I can't actually remember if I actually made it onto the layout. I think I played with it for quite a while but I something tells me I don't think it actually makes it to the final but we will see. And so there you see I stamped the first one and then I'm going to go ahead and stamp the second one. And the, these little ink pads are super juicy. So yeah, I had to be really careful not to press down too hard on them because they are really easy to add too much ink to the stamps. But overall, they stamp really well. So I'm going to, like I said, cut those all out off camera. And now we are going to take my photo and get the little mat I'm just going to mat it once with this wood grain paper and that's going to act as the one mat for my photo and then I'm going to take these pattern papers and like I said I'm going to take this green and it's going to be my background and it is going to be layered on top of that white cardstock so the white cardstock is just going to be a frame for the layout and then I'm just going to cut down these two pattern papers the floral and the chevron pattern paper and I ended up cutting or realizing that I hadn't cut all the way around that green paper so I had to go back and modify that so I went ahead and fixed that and then I can lay down my floral paper and then that chevron rainbow and then my photo and I'm keeping everything pretty much exactly how Chamel had hers on her layout. The only thing different is I'm using different papers and I will be using different embellishments, but I keep the overall design of the clusters and things that I put on the layout in the same basic uh, places that Chamel does on her original layout. I will have Chamel's uh, Facebook listed in the description box below where you can find her first video of her first layout and all the other details for her best of both worlds kit so if you haven't seen her original take on it you can go check that out and so here you see i am just auditioning the bits and pieces that you saw me stamp and then the embellishments that I cut from those two by two squares as well as just some other pieces that I pulled from that stack of embellishments that I showed you at the beginning that I thought I might use on this page. So again I'm just fussing around with how I'm going to lay out each of these clusters and the only one that changes from how I had it there is the bottom cluster at the bottom left of my photo. I played around off camera after I glued the other two 
clusters down. I played around with my title and realized that the cluster just wasn't working with the title that I wanted to put on this page. So I did change it up and I have just that word strip and the heart. And then I took one of these sort of like washi paper strips from the sticker book and put that underneath the rest of my title kind of to have it act as a bit of a shelf. And then I'm just taking some of those Dear Lizzie, the very old Dear Lizzie um, wooden buttons, and I'm just going to put one of those in each of the clusters. So I'm just kind of playing around with which ones I'm going to use. And then I do have a small Mickey head because this picture was taken at Disney. And so I'm going to add a Mickey head there. And then to finish up each of the clusters, I am just going through that sticker book and I pulled out two butterflies so that I could have sort of that idea of threes in I have a butterfly or it, it's actually I think a moth up in the top and then two butterflies. And then I'm also just going to take some florals from both the little sticker book and I believe I grab one or two out of the six by six and a half by twelve or six and twelve sticker sheet. I, my words aren't working anymore. It's getting late at night. And so I am just going to put those florals down because I always try to put florals on my pages somewhere. It seems like lately most of my pages have a flower somewhere. And so I am just going to play around with kind of filling in some of these clusters just to make them feel a bit more fuller. And so I am, like I said, playing with these florals, which I am also putting in around the title as well. So I like how that kind of pulls everything together. Now, at first I had originally wanted to use this word hello, and then the, obviously the, the gold sunshine from the other thicker set. However, the more I looked at this, the more I did not like having two cursive type um, titles for this page. I really felt like one of them needed to be a different sort of alpha that wasn't in a cursive font. And so at first I thought I would use these little green type text um, stickers from those are old October afternoon. However, I decided against that and went with these very old, I believe these are like one of the Amy Tan from her sticker books where they were the kind of their like vellum almost or their kind of see-through letters but they show up really well on this green pattern paper and so I decided that I would use those to spell out the word hello and I like the contrast of the two fonts better than having the two cursives so that is what I will use to complete the title which is obviously hello sunshine and one thing I didn't do on camera, and you can kind of see it there on the layout, is I did add some gold splatters just to give some interest to that background. I felt like that green pattern paper just was a little too plain, but the gold splatters just sort of added a little bit of dimension to that flat paper. And so a finishing touch here for my layout, just like Chamel did on hers, I am adding some gold enamel dots. And with that, that will finish up this layout. So there will be still photos at the end and you can, like I said, hop over to Chamel's Facebook group and you can check out her first layout as well. I'm going to see how many layouts I can get completed for my best of both worlds kit. And so with that, I will leave you with these still photos and catch you on the next video. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.